Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Josh back again with another episode of Keep It Techie, where I help you get started with tech, Linux, and all that home lab goodness. And today we're taking a look at Valky, a high performance, open source, key value data store that's super fast, ridiculously flexible, and backed by the Linux Foundation. And you can use it for caching, message queues, even as a lightweight database. And it's BSD licensed, which means it's staying open source forever. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what Valkey is all about, how to install it two different ways, how to use it with real commands, and where it fits into your Linux project. So let's jump right in. All right, so first off, I wanted to go to Valkey's website. This is valkey.io. And of course, I have the link down in the description of the video. So what is Valky? It's an in-memory key value store that works just like Redis because it's a fork of Redis. But the reason this project matters is that it's fully open source under the BSD license with no strings attached. It was created after Redis Labs changed their license, which caused a lot of tension in the community. So Valky steps in as a drop-in replacement same command line, same protocol, same blazing fast performance. And here's what you can use it for. Caching dynamic content, pub sub, messaging, job queues, leaderboards, IoT device tracking, anything that needs speed and flexibility. And the cool part about it is backed by the Linux Foundation, which is huge. That means open governance, real community input, and no corporate lock-in. Now, before we hop over to the install, I just wanna show you guys a little bit of the documentation. So if you click here, you got three different sections. So you got your command references. I definitely recommend you guys check this out. You can search, you can filter out what you're looking for. And then also you got your commands over here in your different categories and then alphabetically over here on the right. So you can just look for whatever you're looking for there. And then also your documentation by topic. So you got all your information here broken up by the different topics. So if you're looking for the installation, just showing you guys that right fast. Also the Valky command line and the server how to configure it all that stuff i'll show you guys some of the basics once you get it set up but then i definitely recommend you go in here and look at the documentation and learn how to set this up depending on what you're going to use it for and then also let's go back and then we got our client library so you can check this out as well it goes through python node.js java go php and feature comparison tables so definitely check that out depending on what client you want to use all right, so let's switch over to my virtual machine so I can walk you guys through how to get Valky installed on your server and set up. And then I'll walk you guys through a couple commands just to test it out. What's up, y'all? If you've been watching my channel for a minute, you already know I stay talking about Linux. And if you're looking for a solid, reliable enterprise Linux distro, let me put you on to Rocky Linux. This is the go-to replacement for CentOS and it's built for the community by the community. It's got everything you need for a stable and secure Linux experience, whether you're running servers, home labs, or enterprise workloads. And the best part is backed by CIQ, making sure it stays rock solid for the long haul. So if you're tired of these companies pulling a plug on your favorite distros, Rocky Linux is where you need to be. And I've covered Rocky Linux before, and trust me, it's worth checking out. So head over to rockylinux.org to learn more and get started. All right, so I'm logged into Ubuntu 24.04, and one cool thing about Valkey is that it's in the main repository for Ubuntu. You can get that latest version of Valkey in that repository of Ubuntu and most other repositories for other distributions like for instance rail based systems it's in the main repository over there fedora rocky linux should be in the main repositories over there for that as well also arch linux so you can install it directly from the repository but i'm gonna show you guys two different ways you can actually install it from the repository and i'll show you guys on this server and this will be the server that we test everything on so i'm gonna just run sudo apt updates that's the first thing you want to do is refresh your system. And actually this is a server that I'm SSH'd into from this Ubuntu system. It's a Ubuntu 24.04 server edition and I'm SSH'd into it. And so we have one package that can be upgraded. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but we're gonna go down and update or install Valky. So sudo app install Valky and press enter. And Y, it's gonna go down and install it. 
and I'll just be back when this finishes. It shouldn't take too long. Now we have Valky install, and this installs the Valky dash server and the Valky dash CLI binaries right from the official repositories. Now, if you got scripts or muscle memory using the Redis dash CLI or the Redis server, you can install the compatibility package and I'll show you guys that right fast as well. The way you install that, it's another package. It's in the main repository, but I just want to show you guys that it's a uh, compact. So that's all you have to type and that will install a compact version. And maybe it hasn't reached 24.04 because if we go back to our documentation, I went on and pulled it back up right fast. It's supposed to be, you're supposed to be able to install that package direct from their main repository. So maybe it's not in 24.04, but maybe on 22.04, you can use that package, but essentially it's just symbolic links to the binary for a Redis dash command line or a CLI and Redis dash server. So you can use those commands, but it'll basically call the Valky command. So if you got like scripts or whatever, but you can always set up an alias for the command. So it'll allow you to use that Redis name. All right, so let me show you guys how to build it from source. And first thing you need to do is update your system. So just run sudo apps updates, and this will refresh the repositories and see if we have any updates for this server. And this is Ubuntu 24.04. It looks like we have some upgradable packages. We're just gonna ignore that and go down and install the dependencies that we need in order to build a package. I know for sure we need, is it build essentials? I know for sure. That's something you need all the time when you're building our packages. I know TCL, live event dash dev, and then just verify Git is on there because we're gonna have to copy it down from Git. Looks like we had some issues with this virtual machine last time I updated it. So let's go on and that should have fixed it, but let's go on and install our packages now ah all right so we got everything installed on there so that's good everything is installed we got build essentials tcl lib events dash dev and get yours may look different it depends on if it's installed on there or not i think i might have ran into some issues installing these packages i don't know i don't know what happened maybe i ran a test on this server before but anyway i fixed it it's good to go so we can go on and clone our repository so let's actually clear so let's use git, let's type git clone, and then just go down and put our repository in there. And then it's github.com uh, and then key. I'll have all these links or all these commands down in the description of the video, or I'll create a blog post so you guys can just get it or copy everything for yourself. And you can just run through this build process yourself. All right, so let's CD into our val key directory and then all you have to do is type make and this will go down and make that it'll build out the actual package for you i'll just wait till this finish all right so it completed and what you want to do it's always a good idea to run make test you can run that i'll do it right fast so you guys can at least see it run but it'll go through test it it's optional as long as you see okay just do it all that's good and then i'll skip ahead as well on this but then I'm gonna show you guys how to install the binaries after this finishes. All right, so it completed. It had two errors. Now, if you look, let's see if we look up here and it's, ma it's mainly probably because I have a little virtual machine that this thing is running on. So it may, it says not enough good replicas to write. So it's probably just because of the system that I'm running on. So don't worry about it. We'll just keep trucking along, but let me show you guys how to create the binary. So all you gotta do is type sudo make install and this will complete out the install to create all the symbolic links and all that good stuff for us. So we good to go. And so now you've got Valky installed the DIY way. And so I'm just going to close this one. I'm not going to use this one for the demonstration. I just want to at least show you guys how to get it installed via source. So that's for anyone that's interested in doing it that way. But let's go back to our other terminal where we just use the package. Super, super simple. You can just use it this way, just install that dev package. You can get it installed this way and you can run all your commands simply by using this. So let's go down and start up our server. So Valky and then dash server, and press enter. Now start up our server. You'll see that it's running, it's listening. Oh, I say it could not create server TCP socket. Address is already in use. Let me actually see if it's running. So I'm gonna just type the Valky lie. Just see if I can connect to it. Yeah, I'm connected to it. So that's cool. 
it's already running. That's why it says it cannot create the server because it's already running in the background. So when you install it, it'll automatically start running the server in the background. So let me go down and show you guys some basic usage of Val key. And this will be like a key value. Let me show you guys this right fast. So let's set KIT to, let's make it something. Val key is awesome. Let's just do something like that or whatever. And press enter and then let's get KIT. Boom. Yeah, there we go. So that's a key value. And so this stores and retrieves a simple string instantly. Now let me show you guys how to create a list right fast. So you can go L push. Uh, and a lot of these commands, I basically just pulled them from their command list and I just put together some stuff just to show you guys some examples, some easy examples of how to use this. And I just did it based on, I don't know, my channel. Let's see, edit video. So let's do that one Then L push and then to do. And, then, and I'm just looking at this like a to do list. The next thing is to record my video or like a demo or something. Let's do that. And then L push to do, and then let's install Val key. Perfect. And then press enter. And then now let's list out that range that we created. Cause you can see it put an integer next to each one of those to do's in the list. And so you could do L range to do, and then you can go, what is it? Zero, then negative one, I believe, press enter. And I'll list it all out for you. So one, two, three, install Val key. Two is record demo. Three is edit video. So the list acts like a stack or a queue, depending on how you use it. Now, let me show you guys how to set it like a temp key or a key with a TTL. So you can type set, let's just name it temp key. And then let's put something in here. So let's just put temp value let me just give it that as the value and then let's put ex 10 and i've got the space in there so that'll be 10 seconds and then let's go tl temp and this is useful for caching it automatically deletes after 10 seconds or so let me see so as you can see that's super cool right there now let me show you guys something else very fast let me clear get it up i'm gonna open up another tab within here just show you guys something super cool so Actually, let's zoom this one in as well. That way we can make sure they both are the same size. And actually let's connect to this server as well. So we can connect to Valky in this terminal as well. And then let's just type Valky dash command line, boom. And let's bring it up to the top. So we got two of them open. And what I'm gonna do is type subscribe. And then I'm gonna do tech news and press enter. And then let's go over here and Let's publish tech new. And then let's put something in here all right fast. Let's just put something in here like a message. New Val key release just dropped. And exclamation point. Let's put that in there and press enter. And then let's check over here right fast. You'll see it pops up. So tech news. So you're basically a subscriber of tech news over here. And when messages are pushed out or published to text news, it'll pop up over here. So it's kind of like a message broker. I just wanted to show you guys something a little bit different. I learned that while playing around with Valky, just trying to understand how it all works. Now, one thing people always ask is what does in-memory database actually mean? Here's the deal. In-memory equals everything is stored in RAM. That means super fast reads and writes. You can still enable persistence with snapshots, which are RDB or logs, AOF. So it's ideal when you need speed over durability for things like live stat dashboards or real-time chats, or let's say like gaming leaderboards, web caching. You can still persist data if you want, but the default behavior is all about performance. Now let's clear up the confusion how is Valky different from Redis? The short version is Redis changed its license. Valky didn't. In April 2024, Redis Labs took Redis from a permissive license to one that's more restrictive, mainly targeting cloud vendors. But it broke trust with a lot of the open source community. So developers forked Redis 7.2.4 and created Valky under the BSD license with open governance, full transparency, and no corporate gatekeeping. So Valky is now the spiritual and technical successor to Redis. And because it supports all the same commands and clients, 
you can switch without changing your code. So what do I think? I think Valky is doing things right. It's fast, flexible, and it sends a strong message. Open source isn't dead. It's adapting. This is one of those projects that makes me excited, not just because of the tech, but because of the philosophy behind it. No one company owns it, and that's rare these days. I'll definitely be using Valky in some home lab builds and testing it with Python, Flask, and maybe even Fast API for a future bid. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to see Valky stuff? Like maybe a full caching layer tutorial or using it as a queue? I got you. All right, guys, so that's it for today. We just learned what Valky is, installed it using apt, and we installed it from source. We played with key value, list, pub sub, and talked about how it compares to Redis. If you like this, go down and hit that like button. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. And if you know someone building in Linux or backend dev, send this their way. This is Josh from Keep It Techie, helping you stay on your tech grind. Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.